Praise the Lord. Bishop Clark here. Welcome to Megabytes. We would like to continue our series on one-on-one -on -one ministry. Today's lesson takes us to John chapter 3, where we find a Pharisee named Nicodemus who comes to Jesus by night and asks him, what must I do to inherit the kingdom of God? The response that Christ gave him was, you must be born again. Nicodemus asked, how can I be born again when I'm old? Shall I enter a second time into my mother's womb? Is this something natural that takes place? And Christ says, no, you must be born of the water and of the spirit. In other words, the birth that Christ was talking about was a spiritual birth. I want to take a look at this one-on-one -on -one ministry that Jesus has with Nicodemus. And he tells him, you must experience a spiritual rebirth. And as you're sharing your faith with individuals, make sure you let them know coming to church is not enough. Reading the Bible is not enough. Even choosing not to do evil and beginning to do good is not enough. But you must be born again to see the kingdom of God. The new birth is not a work that the preacher can perform. This is not something that a group of people or the church in general can make happen. But the new birth is something that God does in the heart of an individual himself. As you're sharing your faith one-on-one, -on -one, tell them to call out to the Lord. Tell them to pray, to seek his face, to call on the Lord until there's a spiritual rebirth, until God changes their heart, until God changes their thinking until they're truly born again by the Spirit of God. I'm Bishop Eric K. Clark, and this has been your Megabyte.